Today we got another disaster clean with me, but we are also decorating in this video for a belated spring slash early summer. I picked up a bunch of stuff from Target and Walmart, which I will share with you. Then we will spruce up the space that is looking pretty drab since I never redecorated after taking Christmas decor down. But back to the mess, let me explain myself here. I was just sick, nothing serious, but I was out of commission for a few days and my children just ran wild through the house running in and out of the house, tracking sand and dirt everywhere. They ate food in areas they're not supposed to, brought toys down to our main floor, which I don't allow normally, but I just let everything slide so I could rest and doing nothing for a couple days results in this. And now we get to tackle it together. We also have some fun and easy organization projects thrown in, so let's get started by picking up the living room before we decorate. I've been wanting to get some pillows for this couch for some time to try to lighten it up and finally went out to Target to get it done. They have a ton of cute pillows, but getting pillows with removable covers that can easily be washed was very important to me and that cut down my options drastically. I want these pillows to last and stay nice and clean and that is only achievable in my household if the covers can be removed and thrown in the wash because I already know my boys are going to treat these pillows as giant napkins. Since I had limited options, I got what I could and I'm laying them out now first before I remove the tags to make sure I like it all together. And I actually really do like how this all turned out. It ties in well with the carpet and it's going to tie in well with the mantle decor that I have planned. So I'm just gonna zip up all the internal tags, cut off the outside tags and enjoy. Next, I want to decorate my mantle, which is just this lonely unframed picture right now that my friend kindly watercolored for me. I recently went to Magnolia Silos in Waco, Texas and got so much inspo. I used Joanna's mantle decorating guide to help me plan this out so I could buy everything and get it all done in one run. But first, let me show you what I got for the mantle. Okay, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Target, a little bit from Walmart. Walmart just had the right color, like large, um, short, stout candle. So that's what I got from there. I'm probably going to return this one or put it in another part of the house because it doesn't exactly match the, the shade of yellow that I wanted. I got this to add a little bit of greenery. Hopefully, hopefully the stem is easy to cut. This is from Threshold. Okay, this is not an easy stem to cut. So I'm just kind of folding the stem so that it's shorter and then I can fit it in here. Just a little bit of flowers popping out. Light wood picture frames. I wanna put this in here. I couldn't find a frame that would exactly fit the dimensions of this watercolor. So I got as close as I could. I, I hope it works out. Okay, if it's, if it's just well enough. I got some hearth and hand candles and candlesticks. According to her little diagram, you need the candlesticks on the end. This is what they're being paired with. And I got different heights too. I have short ones and taller ones. Got one little yellow candle and then another faux, faux artificial greenery, just in case I need a little bit more. And the reason I have the whole yellow and blue scheme is because I wanted to tie back in with the new yellow and blue accent pillows that I have over on the couch. Here's everything in one frame. I like how the colors of our family painting actually work with the decor. That was not planned, just a happy surprise. And I forgot to show it. I got this circular mirror from either Opal House or Project 62 at Target. It'll be linked down below along with everything else. But I got that as the background mirror that was suggested by Joanna Gaines in her mantle decor guide. She suggests putting photos and sentimental items right up front on the mantle. And I know I didn't show this little bear before, but this bear is a sentimental item to me. My father passed away almost exactly three years ago right now, and this little bear was a gift that my mom gave to me. It is made out of one of his old t-shirts. Um, so yeah, it's something that I want displayed. <laughs> my voice is getting 
my voice is getting cracked up. But yes, it is it is a sentimental item that I want displayed in our living room for everyone to see. So there it is, our mantle. What do you like more? Do you like this little piece of greenery on the side more? Or do you think it looks better when this candle there? Added greenery or short stout candle. I don't know if you can tell, but everything on this mantle is pretty flat, except right here. There's like this bulge right here. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, there's a bulge here that makes it hard to figure out what to put there, if anything, because it's always gonna be a little bit crooked. Now I'm just cleaning off the mirror quick because there were some fingerprints I noticed on the side from the setup that were just going to drive me crazy if I didn't take care of it. Now we are going to move to cleaning up the kitchen. First, shout out Target. Thank you for making the best popcorn ever in your little deli area right after the checkouts. Then I gotta put some of these groceries away that I got from a pickup order and I just didn't even have the energy to put them away after picking them up. And I really just have to pick up the entire kitchen area so that I can start wiping everything down. I'm wiping all the crumbs off the table first into this little trash can and then I'm going to spray it down with my Pledge Multi-Surface Antibacterial Cleaner. And just note, I realize in order for it to be fully antibacterial and kill 99.9% .9 of germs, it needs to sit on the surface for 5-10 to 10 minutes and I just, I'm in a hurry. I got a lot to clean so it's just going to get a few seconds and then a good wipe down. Now let's empty and load the dishwasher. I run it every night so I can empty it in the morning and everything is dry. Then I load it throughout the day just to run it at night again. And it's a never ending cycle just like laundry. Noting here, I still love my Boon drying rack even though I'm well past the bottle stage. I'm throwing it into the dishwasher now to sanitize, but I do think I'm going to retire it soon and get a neutral color drying mat. Anyone who objects, speak now in the comments or forever hold your peace. I've been putting off getting rid of it, but I think it's time and I think the island will look cleaner without the bright green grass. Also want to follow up on the color of my cabinets. I've asked y'all in the last two clean with me videos for advice on my cabinets. The first time I asked if I should paint them white and it was a loud and unanimous no because most of you said they'll look dirty so fast with kids if they're white. Then in the next clean with me video, I asked if maybe a cream color or another color would be better and for y'all to give your advice in the comments. And it was another strong and firm no on changing the color and a big yes for changing out the hardware. So if you have any advice on the hardware, let me know in the comments below. And also thank you for your solid advice on not painting my cabinets if I don't need to, changing out the hardware is a lot cheaper than a refinishing and paint job.
another yummy food call out. These flax mini brownies are delicious, nutritious, and you can get them at Whole Foods. Not, not sponsored. I just love them. Now let's get to vacuuming up this dirty floor. I want to give this vacuum credit here because I do really like this vacuum. It's linked down below along with everything else that I shared and use in this video, but I know it looks like it's not doing a great job right now, but that's because what remains on the floor is just dirt that's been piled onto the hardwoods from my kids running in and out of the house. So it's picking up everything it can and after we're done vacuuming, we're going to mop. This spinning mop is one of my favorite cleaning tools of all time. It's so easy to use, it saves my life. It allows me to mop because it is so quick and easy. Before owning this, I rarely mopped my floor unless it was dire. And now I can, I can mop basically whenever I want. It's so fast and easy to use and there's very little elbow grease needed because the spinning function is all the elbow grease you need to get dirt and grime off your floors. Now let's clear off the media table and put everything away. I'm going to wipe it down. It's gotten very dusty with my Pledge wood cleaner. And as I'm spraying it down right now, I did not intend on making that phallus shape. Um, just putting that out there. storage houses a lot of our arts and crafts supplies, but I've had to pile a lot up top to keep it out of reach for my children who want to use it to graffiti our home. So I'm moving the supplies over here. We have tons of arts and crafts supply here and I'm going to try to fit it as much as I can here. And then we got a whole bunch of kinetic sand. We have all of our little kinetic sand tools. Oh, these are kind of cool. So you can get these at Home Depot for free, pre-2020 before you know what happened. They used to have classes at Home Depot where you could bring your toddlers in and create a little wooden project in their shop. But since 2020 happened, you can't go into Home Depot and do this anymore, but they give you the little workshop kit for free. So my husband, every so often on a weekend, will do one of these projects with my son. But just an FYI that you can get these for free at Home Depot. I love these markers because they only write on the magic paper. So these I will actually leave in the accessible crafts area for my kids to get out on their own. I don't need to hide those away.
Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I have talked about this massive piece or roll of cling wrap that is probably going to last for the next 10 years. I can't fit it into my kitchen because it is way too large to fit into any of the drawers. So a lot of y'all recommended that I cover it with a prettier contact paper. And so that is what I'm going to do right now. I got this contact paper for $3 from the Target dollar spot. It's not called the dollar spot anymore because this is obviously more than $1. But you, you know, tart, the bullseye spot, the part up front with the really inexpensive fun items. That is where I got this contact paper. So I'm going to cover this so it is more aesthetically pleasing as long as it has to stick around in my house for the next, I don't know, till my kids move out. <laughs> This was actually a really easy project to do because this paper isn't super sticky, so it was easy to lift back up, get bubbles out, fold in the corners like wrapping paper, and let's just skip forward. This is the final product. I had to cover it twice in order to make it not see-through, but I think it looks awesome. Now I'm going to do another request from you guys in the comments. A lot of you are really looking out for me and made note that I was not storing batteries properly. I don't know, I never learned this in school, how to store batteries properly, but y'all told me I can't just shove them all into a bucket together. If the ends touch each other, they can combust, which we do not want. So I got these little containers from the Dollar Tree. I already had them, so I'm just going to use them. And I'm separating the batteries into each of these containers so that the ends don't combust each other. Next quick project, these oven mitts have been driving me crazy because they prevent my drawer from opening and closing properly. So I bought these command hooks to attach to the inside of the cabinet and I'm going to hang my pot holders, glove holders, whatever you wanna call them from here. Once you attach them, you're really supposed to hold them down firmly for 30 seconds to a minute. And then once the hook is on, you're supposed to let it cure for about an hour and then you can put your pot holders or whatever you wanna hang on them, you can put them on. Main floor, cleaning, decorating, and projects done. Now let's move to the second level of the house, which is equally as much as a disaster as the first floor was when we started this. There are crumbs all over the floor because I didn't even have the energy to tell my kids not to eat upstairs when I was recovering toys everywhere, furniture everywhere. We gotta get everything picked up off the floor, moved out of the way so we can do a thorough vacuuming. Getting all the pieces organized and put back away in my last Love Every Play Kit. I cannot believe my youngest is going to be turning three soon. If you wanna learn more about Love Every Play Kits, I am they never sponsored me or anything, but I do have an unsponsored review that I will link below if it's something you ever thought about looking into. Depending on your circumstances and what you want for your baby and toddler, they could be worth it. And I'll also link below a page that shows you exactly what is in every single play kit. Now I'm organizing the small piece toys that I keep in these clear Sterilite bins. These bins are absolutely perfect. I have the Cube Storage from Walmart here, their Better Homes and Gardens brand, and these specific Sterilite bins fit perfectly in here and you can stack two to one little cube, but it's great for all the little piece toys and it's nice to see what's in every bin. Right now I'm searching for any little Hot Wheels cars in any of the bins in our toy room. I know that they're scattered all over our house and in our backyard, but now we can at least have an official home for the Hot Wheels and this is a good start.
in the home stretch, getting everything off the floor and all the furniture and bean bags moved out of the way so that we can start vacuuming and get those nice little vacuum lines instead of popcorn spread about. Putting all the bean bags and furniture back in place now that everything's picked up and vacuumed. I know the furniture doesn't like all work cohesively together, but hey, it's comfortable and it's just the playroom. Thank you so much for cleaning with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you ever have any other recommendations for organizing, cleaning, anything for my home, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. As you saw in this video, I really read all your comments and I love taking action on what you think I could improve. So I hope you have an amazing day, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to click on my cleaning or decluttering playlist floating over my face at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!